it was just so stuffy right now. I think it's allergies, but I don't think I want to wear this. I'm gonna change. I think this is better for the vibe I'm going. I'm literally like, I'm all over the place today, okay? I look hella fucking tan. I've been outside more frequently than I usually am. And I have been wearing sunscreen, but I'm still really tan. I bought this CeraVe hydrating sunscreen because this is the one Hiram recommended, I think. I don't know, but I need, I'm gonna start using this every single day. Anyway, today I'm filming a cottagecore video. You know when you have like, you know the stuffy and it like travels and then you're just like, like phlegm. Okay, that's probably gross. But anyway, filming a cottage core aesthetic video transformation. Really quick before this video fully starts, I want to give credit to the person I got inspiration for this video from. Her name is Amanda. This is her channel right here. Go check it out. It's really good. She has really good videos. Yeah, I just saw she has like a cottage core transformation video. I saw that video and got the idea to do this. So I wanted to give credit to her. Go check out her channel because it's great. She's gonna be doing all these things cottage core. It's not like my aesthetic within like fashion. I don't think it's my, like I, I don't think cottage core fashion is for me. I think it's cute, but I don't think it's my aesthetic. I think you can have like tons of different aesthetics, but cottage core like, but there's something else I want to know. Cottage core lifestyle wise is really a vibe. And I think that I really enjoy it a lot. I'm gonna start putting my sunscreen on. It can set in, I already washed my face. I don't really have a smell, or maybe I just can't smell because my nose is stuffy. I can very much picture myself. I shouldn't be dragging my face like that. Oh, this is a lot. Oh, it's kind of, um, this is weird. I'm getting so distracted. Oh my god, look out. Is this gonna blend in? Oh. Um, it's not soaking in. What the? I'm dead ass about to use my beauty blender to blend in my sunscreen because with my hand it's like just dragging my skin. Did I put too much? I'm honestly stressed out. What is this? This is not it, fam. I'm not blending into my skin. What is this? Because is this the one he recommended? Because honestly, I'm turning white. It's raining outside. I love it. Then how am I gonna have a picnic? Oh my god, my skin went like three shades. Oh my god. It's literally like dried. Oh my God. What is this? This will be going back to the store. I'm gonna go wash my face because I don't think this is gonna work. Anyway, I could very much see myself in a cottage, baking some nice treats in a forest, like frolicking through a meadow. I just love it. I really like nature and being outside. I could very much have that be my lifestyle aesthetic and be Chillin'. I created a whole cottage core board for this. The fucking cottages surrounded by flowers, the mushrooms, the frogs, the fairies. Love the vibe, honestly. I'm gonna do my makeup. I already have my outfit on, but I'll show you that in a minute. I feel like cottage core is like just like natural makeup, fake freckles. That's what I'm gonna do today. I don't even know if this is like my color anymore. I wanted to have a picnic, but I'm probably still gonna try to, but I have to drive somewhere to do it because I don't have a backyard because I have an apartment. And it's it's raining. We'll see. We'll see. Also, my skin has been kind of bad. I have like two things that I think could be the cause. It just randomly happened. Like, I think it's fungal acne. I don't know. I honestly should probably do more research. I had been drinking kombucha like almost every single day. Like I thought it was healthy. Like I didn't think anything of it like bad. And then on this girl's Instagram story and she was like, I stopped drinking kombucha because it can cause fungal acne. And I was like, Excuse me? Okay. What? Literally immediately after that, I stopped drinking it and I did research and everything was like, don't drink a lot of kombucha because it can cause fungal acne if you have like a over an excessive amount of like the yeast bacteria or whatever that's in kombucha. I don't, I don't really know like the specific. That's why like it's not good to drink a lot of kombucha and I didn't fucking know that. And so I have my kombucha in like a week and a half. I mean, it's a little better. I think that was it most likely, but also I've been using the CeraVe like moisturizer for my face and it's like a tub. And like, I know you're not supposed to have tubs cause you dip your finger in it and bacteria grows after a while so i didn't know if maybe that was it but i guess i'll never really know because i kind of stopped both of them at the same time hopefully my skin gets better though yes so that was my story well my face powder time i kind of hope i can go on a picnic but also like i don't really want to drive to some random park by myself alone in this scary world like you see that line right there like a little line i keep getting off track 
I need to pluck my eyebrows. Oh, I was at the store and like a lot of picnics I saw on Pinterest have like bread, jam, fruit. That was like the vibe of the picnic, you know? And so I was trying to get some jam. And then I saw some country apple butter and I was like, bitch, this is it. This is what I'm getting. And then I just looked at the greedy ingredients. I don't know why I looked at the ingredients, but I was like, what is this made of? Obviously apples, but it was made of literally like apple concentrate, high fructose corn syrup, some other things that aren't that good for you. So I was like, well, instead of me buying this processed apple butter, a cottagecore bitch would make her own. Tell me I'm wrong. You're gonna look at me and you're gonna tell me that I'm wrong? She would make her own apple butter. And I, I was like, I'm making my own apple butter. Then I looked up the first recipe on Pinterest of apple butter. I'm gonna be making that to spread onto my baguette. I'm really excited about that actually because I really like apple butter. I kind of forgot that it existed until I saw that in Publix. And I hate, it'd be like fresh, fresh organic, organic country, country apple, apple butter and then it'll be like apples from concentrate, high fructose corn syrup. Bitch, that is not fresh. So yeah, I'm kind of happy about that because I didn't know what to bake. I was gonna bake like, what was I gonna bake? I'd bake like an apple pie, but like I'm not really an apple pie person. Like it's good, but it's like not something I'm like, yes, bitch. Make me some apple pie, you know what I mean? I have to show you guys my picture I painted. My painting I painted. Yes, that's more accurate. I painted this painting really good. I saw this on TikTok to do a meme painting night. I was like, okay, that's actually a really, 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 really good idea. I got supplies from Michael's. Yeah, meme painting night. I had it with my sister and it was very fun. I'll show you her painting too. A little blush, a little blusher. It's a Goodwill the other day to get some stuff for this video. I tried to get like more cottagecore stuff, but I couldn't find a lot, honestly, which is surprising because I feel like most of cottagecore stuff is like thrifted. I think that maybe because of everything happening, they just didn't have a lot. I don't know. I went there to find a basket. Cottagecore vibes. I also got three out of five of the Twilight movies, which I'm very happy about that. I've been looking for them. I really love the Twilight movies and I really wanted them like, like physical copies of them. And I didn't know you could watch them on Amazon Prime for free, but I'm one of those people who really, really enjoys watching like the behind the scenes of movies and like special features and shit like that. And like all the Twilight movies, I think have them. Like, I've literally I've watched the first two movies, and I know this is fucking weird, but like I watched the first movie the other day, and then I spent like forever watching like all the special features on it because the first movie has a lot of special features. And then I um started rewatching the whole movie with the commentary version they have with the director and then Edward and Bella. Like, they just comment on everything. And I just watched Eclipse, or, bitch, what the fuck? I watched New Moon last night and did the same thing we started watching Eclipse. Twilight soundtrack is superior to anything. And it's just, like, the vibes. I want to live where they live. My eyebrows aren't matching, they look really weird. Imagine if Twilight was a musical, then it would be bad. Then I would allow you guys to tell me it's bad, but it's not. <laughs> I've had this highlighter for so long, it's probably definitely expired, but. Got a secret, can you keep it when it's on your way? A little hungry. I'm gonna try turning on this one light. Is it not what you got? It's really yellow, but like, that looks so good. How do you guys think about that? How do you guys think? Okay, now I'm gonna do my hair. For my hair, I am thinking the hairstyle Taylor Swift wears in her Folklore in the Cardigan music video. Folklore is like the album of Cottagecore. I've been listening to it a lot recently and I feel like it's just it's the vibes of this whole video. It's really good. I'm gonna give you my top five songs right now, not in order, except for number one. Number one is Hoax. Love that fucking song. Next four I'm gonna tell you are not in order because I cannot put in order. Invisible String, Cardigan, August, and seven are the one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She had like little buns. Don't know how she did them, but I'm gonna have to like look real quick. I'm good at doing buns. Okay, it's not that bad. For the other side. Like water, like water. I think it needs to be more like messy. Why does this side bounce so much? It doesn't look horrible. Really quick, we need to put a filter on this video. Here's the filter. Good. I hope so. I don't know how to do color correcting. Let me show you my outfit real quick. This is my cottage core outfit. Top is from Forever 21. My skirt is from Target like four years ago. A little tight now. And then this basket is from Goodwill. Wait, I have an idea. Oh, I almost fell. Got some flowers. I just went to the garden and picked some flowers. Why does this feel like a sex tape? That's it. 
So now, I'm gonna take my basket. I'm gonna go make some apple butter. Imagine like a loaf, loaf of bread in here, some fur in the stove before we start. This is um, aesthetic. I didn't even think about how apple butter is like a fall treat. I love fall. Start early this year. I didn't really read. I didn't really read the directions. It says I need an immersion blender. Also, it's gonna take about two hours to do this. Whoa, this is supposed to cook for two hours. I'm already in it, so we doing it. First things first. I'm the realist. I have to peel and cut all my apples. So grab a bunch of your favorite apples. My favorite apples are, I just forgot what they're called, honey crisp apples. Those shits are good. And that's what I usually use. Oh, this one's bad. I don't even know if these are literally good anymore. These are gala apples, gala, gala apples. I was gonna get honey crisp because those are literally the best in my opinion. At Publix, they're like fucking $5 a pound. And these were literally like one something a pound. Oh. I just got these because I didn't know. I didn't know, okay? But hopefully this is still good. If it's not, I'm assuming. I don't even know what eight cups of apples is. Oh, I just cut my nail. Dangerous. You can't even see what I'm doing. Is the hair on my face itching me and it's... Ooh. Oh my God, it won't go away. I'm gonna do a time lapse and I'm gonna start listening to Taylor Swift. <laughs> The eight cups, which I looked up and I don't think I have enough apples for that, but I'm just gonna work with what I have, honestly. I have one complaint about this lifestyle so far, and it's the hair in my face. Now I'm gonna crack out an apple. It's gonna have lemon on it, you and me. So it's spicy. Why is it spicy? I'm gonna put all of it in this pot. Let's just put an extra large saucepan. So I'll we'll use this one. I guess I have to wash it. Extra large saucepan. I got this cute little apple juice. I will be reusing the jar after I use this. My hair keeps like going up my nose. Brown sugar going to pet. One, two. This shit has a slap. I can already smell it. Mm. Stir in apple juice and vanilla. Do I have vanilla? Stop it. Stop it. I don't have vanilla. I swear I have vanilla. Oh my god. It says vanilla is optional, but I feel like that would really be necess necessary. It would be a necessity. Oh. I have to go. Or I wonder if I could add it later. Who doesn't have vanilla, bro? A cottagecore bitch would never. She would never. Or he would never. Or they would never. I wanna taste this apple juice. Mmm, tastes like apple juice. I'm actually a little bit. Drink the rest of the day. Going to the store to get vanilla now. Hand back. I ran to the store, got vanilla, pure vanilla ex extract. It is necessary. This is a real shit. Ooh, it smells really good. I feel like I can make some bomb vanilla ice cream in that sheet. All right, now it's on medium heat. And then I'm gonna let this soak for a little bit until the apples are tender. <laughs> Wish y'all could smell this, it smells so good. Okay, this is how it looks after it's blended. And now I'm gonna let this sit for two hours. I just literally set a whole thing and it wasn't recording. So I'm gonna paint. I got some paint left over from my meme paint night. There's a lot left, I actually got blue and red, yellow, white, I got a few of them, and then black. Got my paint water. And then I got these canvases the other day from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna put a hoodie on over this. I don't wanna get paint on my shirt. Oh God, am I gonna mess up my hair? I don't even know if this was clean, it was just on the floor, so. Should do more of a realistic mushroom or like a character. My camera's about to die. I need a little bit more yellow, honestly. I also painted the canvas white. I was painting my phone. Sorry, I got focus. Mushroom. I didn't know that. To get brown, you have to mix a primary color with its complementary color. If it would have named. It's not really brown. I need more yellow. Oh, that's a lot. I need, how do I make off white? Working on the stem now. And I'm alone in my car. So I'm stuck in my head. Does anyone else like stick their tongue out when they're focused? They're like, horrible. It's weird, honestly, but it's fine. Making progress. It's gonna take me a while, honestly. Putting on my second layer of paint. I'm waiting for it to dry so I can add more. More juice, more juice, more juice. Won't you take me to? Bone gets out. A lot of waiting for the paint to dry. Just a little taste. It's getting really late and I'm watching, I'm now watching Breaking Dawn part one and I'm tired. So this is my painting. It's really ugly. I mean, it's just really basic because I didn't really try like to shade or like do anything. It's late already. I'm still waiting for my apple butter to finish. It doesn't look horrible, but it's like not, it's like not 
that good. If you just look at it from like really far away, it still kind of looks bad. I feel like it would look better if it was like watercolor, right? I had watercolors too, I don't know why I didn't do that, but I'm gonna go check on the apple butter. It's been about three hours. It said to leave it for an hour and a half to two hours, and I checked it at both of those times and it still wasn't done. It said it should be like thick, like jam, and it shouldn't fall off your spoon. And it's still doing that, and it's literally been three hours, so I'm about to just take it off and just, it just won't be thick jam, you know? Let's go look at it. It's still like soupy. Getting a little thick, but I don't know if I should leave it on for longer or if I should just take it off and like try it. I mean, it's still spreadable on bread, so it's not like it's bad. It's just not as thick. I think it might have been because I didn't have enough apples. I'm gonna try it warm on a baguette. Let's just do a little taste test. This baguette's a little hard, a little crunchy. Definitely doesn't seem like any type of jam. It just seems like I'm spreading applesauce, like cinnamon applesauce on a piece of bread. It's essentially what it was or what it is. It's really good, but this bread is kind of bad. It's not the good type of bread, but it's still good. Mm, that's pretty good. I'm gonna let this like sit for a tiny bit longer and then I'm gonna can it up and put it in the fridge. I'm laying on the ground now. It looks so weird. I'm literally just laying in the corner of my room by my charger so my phone will charge. But I'm still waiting for this apple butter to fucking cook and thicken up. Because I read that the difference between apple butter and applesauce is just basically the thickness and how long you cook it. So I'll wait like two more hours. And if it's not thick, I want a snack. While well, I'm waiting for the apple butter to cook, I'm going to try to read. But this is my book. This isn't even my book. Make sure there's no fucking spiders behind me. I saw a TikTok and this girl was like chilling and she was doing like the slow-mo thing. Like to see if she could blink, if she blinks all the way when she blinks. And this huge ass fucking spiders one it was fucking huge bro now i have to double check i don't want that to happen to me there's just clippers i'm gonna try to read this book in the meantime while i'm waiting for the apple butter i'm gonna make some tea really quick i don't normally drink tea but i feel like it's, i feel like a cottage core person would definitely have a nice little cup of tea before bed take a bag of night time tea do i have night time tea throat comfort roast the dandelion stress relief that's what I'm gonna do. And then I didn't film anything else after that, but apple butter cooked for like three more hours and it barely got any thicker. So I just put it in a mason jar, put it in the fridge. And it was basically just really good applesauce. It was so good. And then I went to bed and that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I'm posting videos every Friday, by the way. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe.